This video is kind of hard for me to make. I love Darren Teal to bits. And I'm going to put a pin right here. If you think for a second people overrate Darren Teal, I think you're wrong. And I'll say that because the betting was Pickham or Brunson. People are rating Teal as he should be rated. The only reason people think he's overrated is because of Darren himself talking and selling himself, as he should be. He's a confident, he is an elite level striker. He's a very, very good mixed martial artist and he's had very good stylistical matchups. Before I go into the Brunson thing, I just want to say how when you get hype trains, he fought Donald Cerrone. That was the biggest fight of his career to date. Before that, he was fighting people like Nicholas Dolby, who weren't ranked. And he jumped and took an advantage of Cerrone. Where did he go from Cerrone to Stephen Wonderboy Thompson? Think he won or not is irrelevant. He fought non-ranked Cerrone, who was out of his element at that time and weren't really training, to then a Stephen Thompson. He just went straight to the top three. Not even top five, top three people. The guy that Woodley had just gone to a draw with and then just edged. Beat Stephen Thompson, fights Tyron Woodley, fights the champion. Two fights after, one fight after technically Cerrone. That is what we call a rush. He has not had the experience, he has not fought the wrestlers, he has not grinded his way up. He was rushed to a title shot that he did not deserve. Fact. Woodley decimates him. Let's get real. And then fights Jorge Masvidal. Masvidal catches him. If you think, oh Masvidal, Till lit him up in the first. Lit Masvidal up. So he was, this is where the striking is. This is where you can compare it. Then goes to middleweight and he beats Kelvin Gastelum. Says split decision, didn't land a glove on Darren. Kelvin probably wasn't in his element. Darren might have been not in his, who knows. He has lost a few fights now. Robert Whitaker was a three to two in rounds. Arguably four to one, arguably three, two to, two to, uh, three to two to Darren. It depends how people look at these things. I had it Robert three to two. Darren Teal is elite. He has not faced these wrestlers. He, keep, he kept saying in the, in the pre, in all the interviews, no one can hold me down. They hold me down, I get straight back up. When now he's fought his toughest test of fighting a Derek Brunson, who is an American champion wrestler. As someone from Britain, we don't have great wrestlers. We've got Jack Shaw now, who's a very good grappler and wrestler. And we had Brad Pickett, who is a very good wrestler, but it's because he went to America. You know, Michael Bisping learned wrestling later on in his career and was very good at defensive takedowns. Very good. How many times was he taken down? Very, very few. He used it in a defensive style. Darren didn't really have an answer and didn't really have any ambition to get up, it seemed. He said after round one, I really struggled to get up to his coach, Colin. And it really showed because it was it was seriously worrying because he, he kept tagging Brunson, but it never looked like he hurt Brunson until the third. The third round was the key. He was landing those calf kicks, he was getting in his groove, and he hit Brunson with some lefts. Now, a lot of people call him the one one punch guy because he sets up that left so beautifully. He keeps landing it. Why would he stop landing it if it if it's working? And he hit, did hurt Brunson. Brunson scooped his head to the floor and he's he slipping down. He, he got hurt in that third round. But the first two rounds were domination by Brunson. Absolute domination. And I just want to say to people that are like, oh, but it's Derek Brunson. Derek Brunson is elite. Look at the people he's lost to in, in, in the middleweight division. I think he's tied nine or something with the most finishes in middle. He's second to the most finishes in middleweight history under Anderson. Derek Brunson is an elite level grappler, an elite level striker, uh, maybe not striker, but MMA fighter. He's a very good striker, don't get that wrong. And coming into this, Henry Hoof said he was a bit injured going through training camp, but he still, you know, he still shows up, still puts on a great performance. He's on a five fight win streak. He is beating everyone they put in front of him, convincingly. He finished Darren Teal in the third with a rear naked choke. This to me is, um, this, Darren Teal, I don't want people saying, oh, he's crap, oh, he's not. Michael Bisping lost a bunch of times. There's setbacks, Charles Oliveira, Jan Blachowicz, people like this allow people that lose a lot to become, he's young, he's 20, what, 27 years old, Darren Till, 28, he is young. He has got a long time left in this game. He is, 
he if he learns wrestling, people will be like, Derek Till's champion. Oh, that's it, man. That's, you know. And that's how it works. You know, Israel Adesanya didn't fight the wrestlers until later on. Darren's picking out these wrestlers. He called out Brunson. Remember that. Darren is testing himself. Setbacks are setbacks. But you have to give so much credit to Derek Brunson in this fight. I would say Derek Brunson overperformed. And I would say Darren Till underperformed. But I would not say Darren Till was overrated. I would not say Darren Till was not worthy. Darren Till was a top middleweight. And he will be... Now he's... The pressure's off. Now the pressure is off. Now he can just fight someone... He's going to be fighting lower down the rankings now. He's going to be fighting around the 10 rank to the 15 rank. As he should have been before. He should have had these fights before he even got to Woodley. He needs, I would say, three or four fights now. Find himself. Get that grappling under control. We know you can strike. Get the MMA base. Get the clinches. He's got the tie clinches, which are beautiful. You know, the knees he was landing on Brunson in those tie clinches. Brunson wanted none of that, which is why he hopped for that single leg and... Darren defended a few takedowns. I think he defended two out of the five takedowns shown, but he, he never got back up. And that's the issue for me. Take nothing away from Brunson, man. Brunson was the real deal in this fight. We're going to start what's next for Darren. Darren, I want to fight people in that maybe like 7 to 15 range. Two or three fights in that range. You know, an Ian Heidich, another wrestler. Test yourself. Gastelum overcame it. You beat the snot out of Gastelum. And, you know, it's like... You can beat these people. You need to show yourself. I think physically he looked better for middleweight. People were saying, oh, he looked a bit chubby. But he's a big dude. And he was cutting so much weight to get to world's weight. You know, he, I don't know how he made it. He looked better for middleweight at that kind of weight. He looked like he's packed on the pounds to suit that build. Like a Robert Whittaker did, except Robert, Robert Whittaker just shredded. As next for Brunson. Brunson called out Izzy. I don't hate this. After the fight, it throws another name in the hat here. Because after Izzy and Robert fight again, Derek Brunson is more within his rights to have another go. Since Paolo Costa and Vittoria are fighting, they've both come off a loss to Israel. Why do they get an immediate rematch if they win? Jared Cannonier has a real thing. So if you want a title eliminator, you would put Cannonier maybe with Brunson now. I don't think that's necessary. I think Cannonier needs, Cannonier wants a title eliminator. Brunson wants Izzy back. I think they are more within their rights to have those fights. I think Brunson really deserves something here because getting those win streaks in middleweight is not easy. Getting them finishing till is a real... Di Robert Whitaker couldn't do it. Like, we all know how good Robert is. He's only lost to Izzy. He's only lost to Izzy at middleweight. Please understand how good Derek Brunson is and that he has turned a corner. He's of an age now where this is his last run. So I think the UFC could do this, especially with Israel calling him Bumson all the time. It could really sell. What do you guys reckon about Derek Brunson and Darren Till? And I don't want just, you know, horrible, like, ah, oh, Till shit. Someone will comment that now. But I want, like, what you actually think of them. Because I think Darren Till just needs to work on a few things. He's nearly there. He's nearly there. He got rushed too soon. And now he's found his level. He is a, a ranked around 7 to 12, maybe, middleweight. That's where I think he is. I don't think he's worthy, cl even close to Israel Adesanya now. He's at least three, four fights off, easily. But he's always got that name, he's always got that, that selling point which he can do it. And how good also, guys, do you rate Derek Brunson? Because I think he needs so much credit for this. Blonde Brunson is the real deal. He's got some wins now, and he really deserves something. Let me know, guys, in the comments what you think. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have enjoyed it. Share around, guys. We're cracking some subs right now, and we love you. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one.